Hi guys, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing some repotting of plants and showing you the newest additions to the plant family. But first, I want to scrub these pots. I want to get the stickers off of the terracotta pot. And while I'm doing that, I have sphagnum moss right here soaking in water. The substrate that I'm using, I make my own, is going to be forest plant bottom um, material. This is Coca Core chunks perlite, a lot of perlite, and let's see, perlite and pumice. Pumice is these tiny rocks, and the roots grab onto them and grab onto the Coca Core bark chips. So that's what we're going to use to make our repotting material for um, the plants that I'm going to show you. So I'll bring you right back. I'm going to scrub my pot, scrub the saucer cup, the water tray, get the stickers off those, and then I'm going to bring you back and we will start showing you my plants I most recently purchased. See? Okay, so where we left off, just in case someone just tuned in or they skipped ahead and landed right here, we are using forest substrate, forest bottom substrate, and we're only using a small amount of that because the more dirt that you have, the more you get fungus gnats and spider mites, things like that on your plants. So then we have cocoa chips, and then we have pumice, and perlite. So that's what our mixture is going to be. It's a pretty chunky mixture, but we do have a little bit of forest substrate that we're able to add to for nutrients. And I also add worm castings. I'm just mixing perlite and peat, uh, I'm sorry, not peat moss. Um, you don't want to use peat moss because when peat moss dries out, it turns to like cement almost. So that's why you want to use cocoa core. Okay. That's what we're going to end up using. I got my pot cleaned. I'm going to put a little bit of this down in the bottom. Okay. And let's see, I got to get another bowl. This is one of the new plants that I got. This plant is called an Alocasia Frederick. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these leaves. Now, this had damage on the end of the leaf. It looks like that probably had too much sun right there and it burned a hole in it. If you can see that, you can see where it kind of burned a hole in it. And the end of this leaf is also crispy and crunchy. That's low humidity. And the burnt, this is sunburn right here. 
so it was probably getting too much direct light and it was burning holes or this looks like it might have had um, spider mites because I can see some spider mite damage I don't see anything on the backs of the leaves I looked at them pretty good at the nursery anyway so that's what we're gonna repot and we're gonna repot it into a terracotta pot so let's see if you guys can see it whoops wrong way okay So, I thought today while I'm working on my plants, I call this plant therapy, and if you like watching um, channels that feature plants, indoor plants, tropical plants, it's kind of like plant porn for you. <laughs> so then we're going to put it in here. mix that we made and we just kind of want to tap the pot so it gets down around the root system Now, let's take it to the sink. When you water your indoor plants, don't use extremely cold, cold water. Try to make it tempid. It just helps the roots and stuff acclimate to its new environment. You don't want it warm, but you, you don't want it ice cold either. I'm going to water this well until it starts to run out of the bottom of the pot. Hold the pot up. out sphagnum moss and I'm going to put it around the top of this to help the sto soil stay wet and I want to sprinkle this with just a little bit of water even more just like that there we go lay this in here let's see if I can move that Okay. Okay. 
you see that? This is going to be one happy plant. And I also have a humidifier. Let me show you that. Because these need high humidifier. Or, I'm sorry, high humidity. This is my... I have it at 75% humidity. Right now it's at 74 in here. And it's 71 degrees. You want these to be between 70 and 90 degrees. The temperature in your house. And this is called an Alocasia Frederick. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, this plant baby, I wanted to save it. And I'm just leaving this leaf on there, even though it's been sunburnt. And like this one, I might just trim it a little bit. Let me get some scissors. You always spray your scissors with rubbing alcohol. That way you don't carry disease or fungus or anything else from one plant to another. take a little bit off so that it wasn't wasting any energy on the leaf that was all dried out at the bottom. Let's check this leaf. That one's okay, I think. It's got sunburnt damage, but that's okay. And I'll bring you back when I do the other one because you probably don't want to watch the same process done on the same plant twice but I got two of each I, I they were not really being taken care of like they should have been at this greenhouse or garden center let me word it that way I just I couldn't leave them behind I I couldn't afford all of them because these were twenty dollars each but to me well worth it I want to show you guys something these are really 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 sticky traps and you peel the paper off both sides and then you stick these down in the dirt these are great for catching and lowering the numbers of fungus gnats fungus gnats spider mites things like that that kind of fly around and jump around in the pot because those things you'll always have almost if you're using some real substrate soil um, so I'm going to go ahead and put one in here. It's just good plant practice, I think, especially when you bring a new plant home, to put these in the pot to help prevent the situation from ever getting out of hand. Oops. Very, oop, very sticky. It's like a fly trap almost, and that's essentially what it is. So we're going to put it down here. There we go. Then if there's any spider mites, if there's any uh, fungus gnats, they'll get stuck to the super, super, super sticky surface on both sides. And it's shaped like a butterfly. So we'll get this and put it up. Okay guys, this is my last plant that I'm going to plant up because you don't need to see me. I bought two of the same plant two different plants. So I'm just going to show you one because it's the same thing as the other. This is called a Calacacia esculenta and it's otherwise known as Royal Hawaiian Black Coral Colocacia. So I removed it from the nursery pot and I kind of gently extradicated the substrate. Now I'm going to put it in here. It's got a really good root system. See how they're white and they're hard? They're not squishy and black. So now we're going to put this in here gently. And then we're going to fill it. 
fill this pie. We're going to water it. Thank you and have a blessed day. Love you guys. Bye.